Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going over how to use Canva and thank you to Kanisha for requesting this video. I hope you're watching. I love Canva and I actually use it every single day for work and for my personal life. So I'm excited to share the basics with you today. Today really is a beginner video. If you want me to go more in depth, just let me know in the comments because the amount of features that Canva has is pretty crazy. You can really do so much with it, but for today, We'll cover the basics. I'll leave the topics and the timestamps in the description box. And I'll, of course, be doing a screen recording so you can follow along. So let's get started. If you're not already familiar with Canva, it's a very user-friendly graphic design platform where you can create a wide variety of designs from social media posts to presentations and everything in between. It comes with a huge library of templates, images, and tools that make designing easy even for beginners. Before we start designing, let's take a look at the dashboard, which is this page that you see right here. The dashboard is where you can start a new design or choose from your existing projects. At the top here, you'll see some common projects like documents, presentations, social media posts, and more. So you can begin by clicking on one of those sections if that's what you're looking for. And let's just use social media as an example. You can start with a blank slate in various different sizes suited to different types of projects. Or if you scroll down, you can start with pre-made templates and I'll leave a timestamp where I talk about creating a blank template. But in this section, I wanna show you how amazing the template library on Canva really is. If you click on templates on the left-hand side, you can see at the top, you can sort by popular topics on the left hand side you can also search by different categories so under business you can find templates for documents presentations business cards resumes in social media you can find instagram posts stories and reels templates for education you can sort by grade subject and resources the options for templates are practically unlimited and you can also just search for whatever you're looking for inspiration for as well. So if we search something like happy hour invitation, we can find tons of different templates. Anything with a little crown is a feature of Canva Pro and anything with a dollar sign means you'll have to pay for the template. There are paid elements in it if you are using the free version of Canva. I will show you how to start a design from scratch, but let's start with one of the pre-made templates first so I can show you how all the design elements work. So if we just go ahead and choose a free option, we can click customize template and this will open up your project in a new tab. This is what the project dashboard looks like and this can be a little intimidating, but I will go through each section for you starting with how to rename a project. Just double click up here and you can rename your project to whatever you want. Another thing I want to point out is magic switch and resizing your project is a feature of Canva Pro. But one thing you can do with the free version is translate. So as you can see, you get 50 free translations. And if we just translate to Spanish and click translate, it will open your translated post in a new tab. Another thing you'll notice next to magic switch are these two arrows, and this is undo and redo. So you can just toggle back and forth between undo and redo if you wanna see different options for your design. On the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of different icons. So starting with design, you can choose from different templates in the design tab. And this is the section where you can find other templates and pre-made designs to add to your project. Elements is where you can add shapes, graphics, photos, charts, and so much more. In the text section, you can add text boxes, but you can also choose pre-made text combinations. Uploads is where you can add your own photos and videos to use in your designs and you can upload them straight from your computer or with Google Drive, Dropbox, social media, etc. I'll go more in depth in each section now starting with elements. So if you click on elements in the sidebar, you can access a variety of shapes, icons, illustrations, and you can just search for whatever you're looking for. So if we wanted to add a flower to our design, we can click flower. And if you click on it, it will be added to your design and you can just click and drag 
to move it around. If you want to resize it, just click and drag from one of the corners to make it bigger or smaller. You can also rotate an element with this icon here. And you can also flip it horizontally or vertically. When you're moving an element around, you might notice these purple lines, and that's just to help you center your elements with your design. If you want to select multiple elements within your design, click on one so that it's selected, and then hold down the command key and select whichever ones you want to group, and then just click group. And as you can see, you can now move them around together. If you need to ungroup them, just click ungroup, and then you can go back to moving each element around separately. You can change the opacity of your element by clicking this grid here and then adjusting the transparency. And if you want to copy and paste an element, just right click and copy and paste. And then you can move the copied element wherever you want. And then if you want to delete it, you can just click the delete key. Or as you can see, when you select the item, there is a little trash can. You can choose to delete it that way as well. This icon right here will help you filter elements. So if you want a static element or an animated element, you can choose that here. So here's what it looks like to have an animated element as part of your design. So right underneath elements, you'll see the text option. So we'll go through that next. You can edit existing text in a template by making sure the text box is selected and making any changes to font, size, and color. Same with any other element, you can just click on the corners and make it bigger or smaller. You can click on this A and change the color of your text and there are pre-selected color options or you can choose your own color by clicking this and picking literally any color in the rainbow. This icon will help you adjust letter spacing and line spacing. And you can also choose from various different text effects and you can change the intensity of these effects as well with these little sliders once you click on each effect. To add new text, you can just click add a new heading, subheading, or body of text it will create a new text box in your design and you can just drag it wherever you want it to go and then make any adjustments to the font and colors sizing like I just showed before. If you want to upload your own photos or videos, you can do that in the upload section and you can just click upload files to upload from your computer or you can select these three dots and upload from these various locations as well. If you want to add stock images or photos to your project, in the elements section, if you scroll down, there is a photo section. And if you click see all, you'll be able to see some trending photos. So I'll just use this photo here as an example. Once I click on it, it's going to be automatically added to my design. And I can move it around the same way I moved around other elements. I can click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And you can flip horizontal and vertical with these stock photos as well. You can also rotate photos the same way you can rotate any other elements. And you can also change what layer the photo is on by clicking these three dots and clicking layers. Send the image to the back. You can show the layers and kind of click and drag them around yourself. But I do find it easiest to just right click layers and send the image to the back or the front depending on what you want it to be in your design. Now that you understand how to edit and add elements to pre-created templates, I want to show you how to create a design from a blank template. So if you click Canva, it will take you back to your dashboard and you can click create a design and you'll see some popular sizing options, but you can also choose a custom size. So if you have a 4x6 frame you want to put a design into, you can select custom size, adjust what unit your design is going to be in, and then add the dimensions. Once you click create design, your design will be opened in a new tab, very similar to what we just looked at for pre-created templates. You can rename your project the same exact way, but as you can see, it's just a blank page. 
If you want to change the background color, just make sure the page is selected and you can choose from standard colors, you can create your own color, and you can also choose from different gradients if you scroll down a little bit as well. If you want a photo to be the background of your design, then we'll go back to elements, go to the photos section, and you can search for whatever it is you're looking for. So we're gonna go with the flower theme again. We're gonna click on this image, and once it's added to our project, we're just gonna resize it using the same method we've used for resizing any element, just clicking and dragging to make an image bigger so that it fits the whole page. If you want to change which part of the image is seen, double click and you can just drag from left to right. So I want this part because it has the most white space and I want to add some text to this design. And this is where you can start getting really creative with adding elements, graphics, and text. And my favorite way to do this is actually by using the magic recommendations. So if I click see all in graphic, you'll see there's a section called magic recommendations and they're gonna fit the theme of your project and adjustments will be made the more you add to your design to really cater to whatever you're creating. It's really amazing. So we're just gonna add some extra florals. Make sure it's centered. And this also really comes in handy when you add text or other elements to your project. So if we add text and I wanna change the color, as you can see, it will pull colors from the background of the photo so that I can choose a color that's already in the palette to make everything look really cohesive. Once you're satisfied with your design, it's time to download or share it. So if you click on the share icon in the top right, you can scroll down to download to save your design to your device. If you want to collaborate or share on social media directly from Canva, click on the share button and then choose share on social. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you wanna learn even more about Canva, let me know in the comments and I can make a part two. It has some amazing additional features and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.